Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Shop Talk, I want to share this with you. So I picked up this uh, little micro vice, if you will, uh, from Amazon the other day because I was working on a project. I needed to capture something small so I could engrave it on the 3040 CNC. And uh, I came across this and it worked perfect. And so I wanted to share this with you guys. So if you're into engraving or doing small work of sorts and you need to hold it, this really works out well. Uh, you can use it in a lot of different modalities, if you will. So uh, one of the pieces, for example, if I take this, um, I engrave a lot of these glass bobbles, both on the laser and the CNC. And it works great to hold it in here because um, these are sort of self-centering, if you will. And so you can just tighten it up on it and uh, it does a really good job. Now, the great thing is, notice these bottom pieces. This is really what the cool part about it is. Because I can now take the vise from my CNC. I can just drop this in and tighten it up. And boom, I can put it on the CNC. And now this is holding this glass, you know, basically self-centered in here, locked into my CNC vise. So that works out really cool. The other piece is, if I want to work on it by hand, I can put it in this articulating desk uh, vise that I have. And, and just like with the CNC, so now I can work on whatever I have. So it can be small circuit boards, especially odd-sized circuit boards. Uh, you know, like you get some of those round Arduino boards. You get some of the small controller boards. And again, this works great for holding it. And the other thing that I like is you can 3D print uh, different basic uh, basically jaws uh, for here so uh, for, I don't have them at the bench right now but I did do a set for um, because actually I purchased a couple of these clamps um, but I did uh, do up a set for circuit boards so basically what I did is I just did up a square one and then I, I cut out so the board would slip in and this basically on the four corners locks the board into place then I can set it into this vise and I can solder the connections to it. So again, this thing is super handy, super flexible. As you see here, it's got different holes so you can arrange these in different patterns. Um, and these are basically just regular screws that will thread themselves into here, so nothing major threaded. And it is really, really stiff, you know, so it's got uh, metal rods in here that hold it straight. Uh, looks like it's got about um, either an M10 or a quarter 20 here and it's spring loaded. So it holds tension against the two jaws, but yet you can push it like this. So I'm really impressed with the way that this uh, works and has come together and you know what you can do with it for the money. I mean, it is like sub 10 bucks, so it was very worthwhile to pick up. So again, figured I'd share that with you guys. Do you guys get something like this that's great for clamping small things, for doing micro work? Share it in the comments below. I'd be interested in seeing. Maybe I'll pick one up. Uh, if not, I'll have the link to this down below. So if you're interested in getting one, you can pick it up. i uh, also throw on the link to some of these other vices too that you saw them in, especially this one. This one has been really, really handy. So uh, uh, to hold all kinds of different stuff in. So anyways, don't forget the bell button over there. It's actually a reminder. You got to go down and hit the one below so you get the parents so you're notified when I put out new content. Also, don't forget the swag shop up in the corner as always. Great swag out there for the makers out there. And we'll see you guys in the next video because what I'm thinking about is actually making my own version of this. But you guys stay tuned and subscribe. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.